Jody Meeks did not go in the first round of the NBA draft like he had hoped, but about 15 minutes ago, his name was called. With the 41st pick in the 2009 NBA draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select Jody Meeks from the University of Kentucky. Meeks could get an opportunity right away because the Bucks just traded their top scorer, Richard Jefferson. Milwaukee had the 10th overall pick and took Brandon Jennings, the highly touted kid who, since he could not go straight to the NBA out of high school, chose to play pro ball in Italy rather than go to college for a year. Some other good news for Meeks, four of the Bucks' second round picks since 2000 are still in Milwaukee, like Michael Redd and Ramon Sessions. And when I tried to get Jody's father, Arrestus, to tell me earlier today where he thought Jody would go, he just continued to say forget all those projections out there because nobody knows sure enough meeks to the bucks was not on anyone's radar now uk coach john calipari he was at Maris madison square garden for the draft tonight his former player at memphis see right there tyreek evans goes fourth overall to the sacramento kings calipari even had a hug for mama you're going to see that coming up here of course Derek rose was the top pick in last year's nba draft there's that hug right there Two of the top five picks for former Coach Cal players in the last two years in the NBA draft. A pair of Louisville Cardinals have gone in the lottery tonight. First, Terrence Williams taken 11th overall by the New Jersey Nets. His running mate at UofL, Earl Clark, goes a few picks later. Number 14 overall to the Phoenix Suns. That's two of Rick Pitino's players from a team that failed to get to the Final Four going in the top 15 of the NBA draft. Well, you saw Terrence Williams going to the Nets. So is Western Kentucky University alum Courtney Lee. He has been traded tonight, along with a couple of his Orlando Magic teammates, to the New Jersey Nets for Vince Carter. Now, the full deal is Lee, Rafer Alston, and Tony Batie from the Magic to the Nets for Carter and Ryan Anderson. Back to U.K. basketball, someone expected to pick up some of the scoring slack left by Meek's departure, John Wall. The Cats' top recruit and the country's number one prospect has received a qualifying test score to be eligible this fall. That according to Dave Tellup of Scout.com. Speaking of freshmen, the Freshman All-American Camp has just started today at UK's Joe Craft Center. But these are not college freshmen. They are the top 100 rising high school freshmen in the nation. That's right. And UK has an early start on them by having all these kids see Kentucky's facilities firsthand should the Cats become interested in any of them down the road. When uh, Coach Cal got the job, we felt that that was a, uh, a perfect opportunity for us to uh, really capitalize on the buzz that uh, Coach Cal has brought to, to Kentucky. On the Cats football front, UK picked up a transfer today, Bowling Green High product Ryan Wallace. Wallace is a six foot five tight end who went to the University of Colorado out of high school, even though he originally committed to Louisville. He redshirted for the Buffaloes as a freshman last season. He's decided to transfer to UK, walk on, sit out this season due to transfer rules. Then, according to the Bowling Green Daily News, he'll receive a scholarship in 2010, have three years of eligibility remaining. Scout.com rated him as the 29th best tight end in the country out of high school in 2007. Reds trying to avoid the sweep in Toronto. Joey Votto with a tie-breaking homer in the seventh. One of four hits in just his third game back from the disabled list. First home run since May 26th. And to top it all, he does it in his hometown, Toronto. Reds win 7-5 thanks to Votto's game-changing blast, making it the Jack Kane Ford play of the day.